Here's another thing to remember. Two days ago, Steve Moore, Trump economic advisor, guaranteed 4% growth for five straight years if Trump's tax and regulatory cuts are put in place. Look who's here. Douglas holtz an economist and president of the American Action Forum. Douglas, you're not a Trump guy. I know that. But what do you make of that claim for his economic program? Uh, I, I think it's too big, to be honest. But uh, certainly... He's on the right track in the regulatory front. He's on the right track uh, with the, the energy front. I think he needs to improve on his tax, his spending, and his trade policies. But when, when you know, say, we need when better you say growth, and there's certainly it. no hope on the other side. Now, when you say improve on his tax, focus in on tax for a second. He's sure. going to come down to, I think, three tax brackets, and everybody yep. will be paying less. You want him to improve on that? I think the best tax reform for growth is what's proposed by Kevin Brady and the House Republicans. That's a tremendous plan. Uh, Trump has taken a step toward it, but uh, he hasn't embraced it entirely. That plan's fabulous for investment, fabulous for saving, fabulous for growth. It doesn't blow a hole in the federal budget. It's exactly what we need. I think he should just take that and say, this is my plan. Okay. I want to draw to your attention the latest numbers on the deficit and our growing debt. As I understand it, we're going to have a federal budget deficit just this year of $590 billion, way beyond a half trillion dollars. Now, I ask right. this all the time. Why should I care? I mean, we've had these deficits for year after year after year. It doesn't seem to affect me or our viewers. Tell me why it should and does. Uh, I think it has two impacts. Uh, number one, uh, it's, a, it's not this year's deficit that hurts you. It's going forward where there'll be a trillion dollars within eight years. And those large deficits are going to drag on the economy. All the evidence across time and across the globe says if you have debt that's that big relative to your economy, it slows growth. Growth is our biggest problem. Nope. Uh, the second thing is it is really unfair, fundamentally unfair to the next generations to lock in the spending of their government it, with yes. these large entitlement spending programs. It's that is not how democracy it, should work. A half trillion deficit is also a nasty commentary on the current tax and spend regime that we've got. Yes. Douglas, again, I'm very sorry to rush things through. Huge day in news. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, Douglas.